Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Acidic Blitz Orchard, and welcome back to some more diversity. So, we last left off learning nothing. Well, I guess learning stuff about Minecraft, but learning that I know nothing about Minecraft. I don't even know what a Minecraft is. So, um, yeah. Everyone was telling me, like, how you get these certain things and how all that stuff works. You know, clearly I need to brush up on my Minecraft trivia. So I may have to re-download this map and play trivia over and over again. I don't really, I, I don't know, I don't know. Well, if you guys want to see the trivia, just click either previous in the top bar or check the description. There will be a playlist for all of the diversity episodes that you can find every single one. We're on episode number 8 now, so we are getting close to being done. We have five more genres left, and I asked on Twitter, as well as the com I commented on my new video asking what you guys want to see. Um, that comment didn't really get much because obviously the video had just gone up, but most people said labyrinthian i'm assuming that's how you say that but right now comment down what you guys want to see me play next in terms of the genres i can either play arena survival puzzle or boss battle boss battle would make sense to play last but there are bonuses uh at the back here so obviously once i finish and complete every single genre i will go and complete all those bonuses as well so just choose whatever you guys want to choose and i will do it in the next episode we are losing hunger like it's no big deal but we're going to play the brithian the purple genre here and if i may ask if you guys do enjoy the video at any point in time make sure you guys drop a like rating let's shoot 400 likes guys and uh, there was not a video up yesterday because i think we did two factions at least we tried to obviously we, we haven't actually done it yet because as i'm recording this it is still thursday so um yes let me go ahead and hop in here but um, there was an episode up yesterday because I tried to keep around three videos up every single day, which I've actually been able to do quite well here. And, um, this is a weird sound. So there wasn't one up yesterday just because I tried to keep three, and I believe there's probably a hex and two factions. If I am wrong, then I'm obviously wrong. We have actually not recorded either of the three videos that will be on tomorrow, but we will, and it will be good. And, um, yeah, this is a giant labyrinth. This is a giant maze. I do not know how much, how well I'm going to do this. So we can probably map it out a little bit, but odds are it's just going to be kind of... It's going with the flow here, because this could this could be very difficult. Um, this isn't even... There's not really like a strategy to go about. I mean, with mazes, you tend to want to stick to the right. But um, even with that, there's still not much of a strategy to really take with mazes and labyrinths. So we're, I'm just going to keep going to the right as long as I can. But I guess we're just going to key, see what we can do, we'll hopefully beat it in a timely fashion, not take ages. We're going pretty much backwards now. But um, we're just going to keep heading to the right and see what happens, where it takes us, the pathway that it will take us down. Clearly we're going through the nether area now. Just keep heading right, that's obviously a, a dead end right there. Keep heading right. I think we're, going, we're about to come to another dead end. Hmm. Yep, dead end again. So pretty much staying to the right will assure you to go through all the dead ends and eventually make your way to the ending. Because going left, you kind of just go backwards. Going right, you're always going in the correct way. As you can see, we pretty much just went down one path, completely destroyed it. You know, went through every single dead end we could get. And we just keep going through every single other path because we're sticking to the right. So if you guys ever do a maze or you never do a labyrinth like this, just to keep that in mind, always stick to the right and you will eventually make it to the end. It may take you a little bit, but... um. Yeah, so for this episode, more or less, it, it's pretty much just a regular commentary because I'm really just holding W and kind of moving my mouse as we go through this little bit here. That end. So, yeah, what's going on with you guys? Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel lately. I knew you guys have. You've been showing so much support on the channel lately. It's been just amazing. Uh, just the sheer amount of likes I've been getting like per day since I upload about three videos a day. I'm getting upwards of almost 1,500 likes per day just because of the, the brand new videos, which is just insane, guys. Absolutely amazing. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've been showing my channel lately. And um, if you guys have liked the video so far, make sure you guys comment down saying you liked, so I can know, so know I can know who, who the likers are. I'm sure there are most a lot of people who won't be liking or commenting down mainly because of Google Plus and that whole that whole issue with uh, YouTube right now. Which probably won't go away because Google obviously owns YouTube and they want to continue having their product be the main thing. And there we go. Please tell me that's it. I'm sure there's more. Oh, stage two. Okay. What, what is all this nonsense? Oh, because this is stage two. Alright, well I guess we're keeping our going to the right strategy. We're going to go over here. Um, this doesn't seem like a regular maze though. Well then, this could be interesting, and I'm gonna stop hitting those because that's kind of a no oh, okay. Bring his light out, so I guess it's on redstone lamps. Yeah, I guess so. Um, 
I guess I'll try and keep stepping on it so I, in case you guys can't see very well. Me stepping on it will allow you guys to see. And um, what would that be under? that under sound? Okay, it's under sound. So I'll just turn that down so you guys don't have to hear the pressure plates constantly. But um, yeah, Google Plus and their like system or their commenting system now is a little messed up. So obviously everyone who likes the video can't necessarily... Um, no, I don't give up. Screw you. I kind of want to hit that to see what it does, but... I'd rather not. So anyways, I keep getting off, off off topic here. Is this okay? Checkpoint, sweet sweet. Um, H three. Man, want these? I'll take them all. I will take them all. Cause you know you gotta catch them all. Oh, lava! And this is about to be more difficult here. Hmm. I don't want to die. That's something I do not want to do. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Stick to the right. Stick to the right. Oh god. I'm not sure if we got updated to peaceful mode or what, but I don't want to I don't want to risk dying here. Oh, oh god. Okay, so this actually will be a little bit more of just talking about the map here. I figured it'd just be I was kind of hoping that one labyrinth we saw, that one maze kind of would have been it. I don't know why I was thinking that, but that would have been convenient. I could have just talked to you guys personal one on one, but um, we have to, we have a bunch of little you know seriously having to think and use nice strategic. I think we're on peaceful. I don't know if this can necessarily kill us. I'm not gonna test it, but um, yeah. So keep going to the right. Obviously, is the pro strat of the mazes. Um, oh god, oh god, and. I can't take too long on this because the podcast will be happening soon. If you guys did not hear me earlier, I'm recording this on Thursday, and it is in fact 4 p.m. on Thursday, and our podcast that Taz and I do is at 5 p.m. EST on Thursdays. Uh, switching channels every single week. So obviously yesterday, as you guys are seeing this, because you're seeing this, uh, actually you guys might be seeing this, I think you guys are seeing this Saturday as a matter of fact. So two days ago, the podcast went live on my channel, and then next Thursday it will be live on Taz's channel. That's just how we do our podcast. Instead of making a brand, like it's just a channel basically for that. Um, oh god. Oh man, I'm actually set on fire now. Fantastic. I mean, instead of making an actual channel based just for our podcast itself, we just like switching it up on each of our channels. And there should be a playlist in um, the description of all of the podcasts that will show all the podcasts, obviously, within that playlist. Oh god. Okay, so as long as I touch the lava and then get out of it, like, instantly, I won't actually... Why do I need this, by the way? Like, why would I need torches when I have lava lighting every single thing up that I would ever want to have lit up? So, maybe, it, I guess, for the future? I don't know. I mean, I have my gamma turned up a lot going through the dot text from Minecraft, so obviously... Um, I see everything without really an issue, but within videos, it, it, it is an issue, so that's why I always try to do color correction to where it is a little lighter, as well as place torches around and things such as hexit. So yeah, hopefully we're going to the end here. That would be the end, and I would assume this is not the end of the map. Hmm. Oh, there's just checkpoints. Oh, fantastic. Well... Checkpoint, so I guess we're going this way now. I'm not really too sure what this all means necessarily. Hmm. Okay. I was like, let me go back there. I feel like this that's the middle where you should have ended up, but Hmm. I was I don't want to return to the hub. Let me just go this way. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't let me die. Okay. Oh. Ooh. 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 My hair looks crazy for some reason. I don't know why it looks so weird. But, um, yeah. I don't know. It looks weird. Yeah. Obviously, I can see my, my face cam is right there, so I can see what, I look, what I'm looking like here. So I know when I make a stupid face for you guys to laugh at or take screenshots at and then send to me via Twitter. Make sure you guys follow my Twitter. Link is in the description, at Acidic Gamers. It will be the very first. It should be like the second link in the description, I believe, in most of my videos. So make sure you guys follow me on there. I'm trying to, my New Year's resolution for Twitter is um hitting 10,000 followers, which would be insane. 
So if you guys do not have a Twitter or like to, you do not follow me on Twitter yet, make sure you guys either make one. It takes just a couple of seconds, probably at the most a minute if your you know if your computer browser is a little slow to where it's loading slowly. And following me takes just a split second. It's like liking the video. Besides, you have to click an external link. And I'm pretty sure I already explained all of this. And hmm, might have been. Well, I don't think that video's actually gone live yet. But um, hmm, maybe I just gave a little little preview to an upcoming video. Who knows? Who knows? Well, I do because I did it. Oh, is this the end? Please? Why you do this? Why you do this? So I'm assuming that this pathway that I took, the Lappies pathway, failed me. I'm gonna blame Taz on that one because you know he's the whole blue pickle guy. So I'm gonna say he just ruined me by making me go that way. So yeah, there, there you go, Taz. If you're watching, I, I blame you wholeheartedly. And um, hashtag blame Taz, like we did in the Hexit from two or three days ago, something like that. I think it was Hexit 39 is when that happened. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I should keep going right or go left now to try and get back to where I was. In like the little gold, uh, diamond, blue pickle area. Oh god. I don't really see the point of having two videos of me just being in a maze. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna cheat or anything. Oh, here's a torch. Oh, it's that torch that I placed. That means I'm... Okay. Okay, I got it. I was using these torches so stupidly. These torches are meant for, you know, me to keep track of where I've been. Okay, I got that now, but we've kind of gone very far into this map without blazing any torches. And I'm pretty sure there's probably, like, pretty sure you can't just swim through the lava to get somewhere. You'd probably get stuck on something. Maybe not these lava cases, obviously, because you can see that there's nothing in between them. It's just the lava itself. But, um... Let me try and get back to the main... Although I'm pretty sure that I placed this torch before I found that little four-way area in the in the middle there. So I'm not really too sure about that one. I don't know. I don't know. I know I didn't place the torch down for at least a little bit because I kind of forgot I had them for a little bit because I was like, well, why would I need... I didn't even kind of think about placing them because it's like, okay, there's lava everywhere. Why would I need to place anything down. Where does this take me? Is this taking me back to the very beginning of this stage? No, that's taking me back to nothing. Oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm losing a lot of health here. Losing a lot of health. Not good. We don't want to die. We've only died. Um, well, I guess we... Well, I guess we actually didn't die in the parkour branch. We just always got teleported back. So I guess we haven't actually died yet. Um, oh. The garage door is... Oh, God. Dogs going crazy. Doors be opening. Garage doors be opening. Whew. Whew. This... This is a challenge. To say the least. This is definitely something that... People probably told me to play because they knew it would be difficult. And... Yeah, there's the torch again. So we are kind of on our way. I think we go back this way. We will make our way to the... The, um... That little four-way intersection we could have taken, and we chose. We probably should have chose just sticking to the right, like I originally did. But I was, just, I guess, got a little confused on like what that actually meant. I just don't understand. Like, obviously, this is still the same stage. Like, we got that checkpoint, yeah, but we didn't actually. I could just kill myself, honestly, to get my. Because uh, obviously, I had a checkpoint. So if I kill myself, I would just spawn back at that checkpoint in the four-way intersection. So um could do that. I'd lose all my torches though, which would not be the best thing, because these could easily, um, if we place three like that, that means it's a no-go. That means it's a dead end, and we should not go that way. So pretty much groups of torches will now lead us to knowing that those are worthless dead ends, in which case we don't want to go there. So, where does this, where does this lead us? Okay, so we found this part again. Okay, now, to make this easier on ourselves, we will place the torches at the very point to where we can have a little bit of an intersection, so like this. That means don't go that way. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm killing myself at this point. Okay, so we also shouldn't go that way, and if we can't really go this way at all either, then we will officially, what's this down here? 
Okay, so that one was pretty much our way of pointing left. Um, I don't think this will go anywhere. I'm pretty sure this will take us right to a dead end. No, where is it taking us? Okay, people are going crazy out there. Dogs, more or less. Where, where is this taking us? I'm just, this is confusing. I don't know how this works exactly. I figured we were going to be taken. Hey, okay. Okay. We're back here. We're back here. Now, I want to say I came from the Emerald area. I came from the Emerald or Gold. I forget which one it was, but um, we just came back through here, so let's place a torch there. Now, let's go through Diamond, like I was originally planning on doing. Um, see what we can do. So clearly, this is just one big whole maze. That's just the center of the maze. So I really should be sticking to my keeping to the right method, which I actually am sticking to. I just want to dead end. Okay. We'll put that there just in case we don't see that for some reason. Um, alrighty. So, oh god, that hurt. I just really don't want to make my way back to the very beginning, which actually I'm pretty sure where I kept going, that was the very beginning. I'm pretty sure that's where I actually came down from. Which is, that's obviously not good. And I'm pretty sure this will be a dead end right here. Yes, this is. So let's put a nice little set of torches down um, right here to notice that is now a dead end area. Although I believe this is also a dead end area right here. Yep, dead end right there as well. So to mark it off even easier for us, so that's a dead end. Was this a dead end as well? No. Well, that is, so we'll just place these down like that. I don't really care about wasting torches because it really doesn't matter too much. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's a dead end, obviously. If there's torches anywhere, it's pretty much... I could really just be doing one torch and know it's a dead end because I have yet to place a torch to where it means something. So I really could just be placing one torch down. It really wouldn't make too much of a difference. Oh my god, being on fire is so annoying. Ah, okay. Okay. Also, an easier way to actually mark off the dead ends as soon as I actually go in them would be really to do that. Because then I'll know instantly, like, okay, that's a torch there, it's a dead end. So, like, right now, I place two torches, or do that, and then I actually go through, and then eventually I will notice that it is, in fact, oh, maybe not. Probably, though. Okay, dead end, because it actually led right there, too, right? Yep. So, it just led us in a nice little circle. Okay, and now we're going this way again, so we're going to put those torches down to signify dead end would be this way. Well, I'm pretty sure it's taking me to another area, so hopefully, hopefully we'll be good in that aspect. Hmm. Dead ends right there. Finding all the dead ends so far, and dead ends. This just—it seemed so easy from what it actually was, and I'm back to where the blue pickle started. So fan friggin tastic. So I'm pretty sure I went through diamond and ended up going through. Ugh the lapis. What is this way? Is it dead end too? Hmm. So realistically, like, I've gone through diamond and lapis and I've only found dead ends. So I'm pretty sure that if I go back to the beginning, I have to now, go back to the beginning and then to the right, when I came out of the one that I originated at, if I went to the right, that would have taken me through the diamond block one. So basically, I'll signify myself as if I was going to the right and look at which one would make that the diamond block on the right. And then I will go through the other one that we have not gone through yet because obviously we know we've gone through majority. So I came through. Yep, I obviously went that way. So that's done. Hopefully gold is the correct way and we'll actually make it out of here. It seemed like it. Did I seriously take every single possible way? I don't really want to go that way right now, because it seems like that'd be taking us back. I more or less want to... Okay, that's obviously a dead end right there. So, that is dead end. Okay, we can go left here. Oh, come on. These wines are being good. Nope, not being good. 
All right, well, at least we're knocking out dead ends here. Obviously, Emerald, we started from there. Clearly, we just went through all of Diamond, and we had previously gone through all of uh, Lappies, so we have signified that's a dead end. Um, that torch was there. Does that mean... Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, okay, I just screwed myself there. I placed that torch there so I wouldn't go that way, but I need to go that way now, so doing that back. And we will try and manage our ways out of here. Okay, so that's going back, so we don't want to go that way. Basically, I need to think of these torches as barricades. I cannot pass them. If I do, then I'm an idiot because I would be going in an area that would not make any sense since it would just be leading to a dead end. Okay. <sighs> come on, come on. <sighs> Difficult stuff. Oh, good. I gotta finish this decently soon, too. So, yeah. I think I'm actually good enough now. I should be catching off fire in a second. There it goes. Huh. Huh. Come on. Show me the gold. Show me the gold. Oh, God. Please. Ah, come on. Let me just get back out of here. This stupid, windy path that seemed like it was gonna lead to glorious, wonderful things. And it led to nothing that was ni neither glorious nor wonderful. Mm. Oh, that's obviously not the correct pathway. Let us now go through the next pathway, because we're just kind of exhausting all pathways. And odds are, I will literally go through every single possible, like, possibility. Or well, torch over there, so I'm not going that way, obviously. Uh, I'm about to just run through... And I'm gonna die. And I died. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I don't lose my torches, but I lost my entire way. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I knew I was gonna die sometime throughout this little series. Like I was saying, I'm pretty positive I'm going to go through every single possible way I can. And I actually did not go this way, so I'm gonna take this way this time. Before I finally reach the victorious victory of getting... Oh my god. Oh, me dying was the best thing that ever happened. Oh, that's fantastic. Me dying was just the best thing that could have happened right there. And now I pretty much know exactly where to go um, if I ever die again because... Actually, is this just to see the pathway? Hmm. Oh. Oh, thank God. Ooh, I was, I was risky business. Purple is done. Labrithian. Ooh, I knew that it, I'm just glad that I died there at the end because if I wouldn't have died, I would have gone through most likely every single possible way until I finally got back to the beginning and went that other way. Ooh, so clearly going right out of the time is not the smartest move. Um, ooh, that was probably about like 28, 30 minutes. I'll probably cut that down to make it just one video so you guys don't have to deal with two boring maze videos. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you are brand new. Should have been if you guys really enjoyed. And remember to comment down what genre you'd like me to do next. I'm probably going to ask on Twitter because uh, I'm probably going to record one more here after the podcast. So you seeing this now won't really make too much difference. But hopefully you guys do follow me on Twitter so you can get into those types of selections in the future. And other than that, I'll talk to you all later. I'm going to say, guys, peace out.